Okay, so let's talk about a car situation. I know I've been going live and everybody keeps asking me the same question over and over again. I guess you guys heard any noise. I'm at Knott's Ferry Farm. The water fountain is on. You guys can see the water fountain right there. It is on. I like sitting here, especially now how the weather is, because the, the, the sprinkles of the water is coming out, like the little drizzles coming down, which feels good. It's kind of, it's getting kind of chilly, but and the shade's not too bad. And, the, and it's hot in the sun, but I took my sweatshirt off. But so far I went live and then I did, uh, I went live streaming. I posted some videos for the vlog. I figured I'd come on here too, just to talk about what we do in one take. I'm not even gonna cut this puppy up. So any bloopers, anything else, it's gonna happen. But everything asking what's going on with the car situation. Here's what's going on. Now the car thing is a very expensive process. The transmission valve went off. So it's gonna cost like six, 7,000 to fix the car. Now I went to a bunch of dealerships, different mechanics, and everyone's telling me it's not worth spending that much money on a transmission for a car where you spend that much money, then something else can happen. An axe will go out, but you have like a new, a, a old, older car with the new part inside, they're not gonna mix together. So you're probably gonna be spending more money because something else might not work, it might break down, who knows? So that's what the situation is with that. So the, the thing is, so I'll go get another car. Now I went shopping, and because I don't have any credit, which I need to start building credit, I probably get some um, credit cards to build credit because right now I don't have anything. All I have is a car payment and car insurance. I don't, where I stay at, uh, I don't pay for electric or gas. So this is not under my name. I do pay for stuff, but stuff's not under my name. So I have nothing to show for where, what I've been spending on, what I've been doing. And so because of that, uh, I don't really have much credit. So I got to build credit. If not, I went to a few car places. I'm jumping around here because it's gonna frustrate talking about it. It's very expensive right now to get a car. It's very dumb to get a car. Even though I'm putting down seven grand for a down payment, my car payment would be twelve hundred dollars. That's a quote. A quote I got from a few places. Twelve hundred dollars. Get the fuck out of here. Does that shit come with free hand jobs every month? I mean, no way. Twelve hundred. When I looked at them, I was like, you get the fuck out of here. Like twelve hundred dollars for a car payment, and then it's funny because these, the, the the dealership they looked at me stunned and they're like, "Well, what do you need? That's normal. You know how many people come here and they pay up to a thousand to twelve hundred dollars a month for a car? So you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's, that's half of a of a rental place where I used to live at for a two bedroom place. I paid fourteen seventy. You only pay for a car twelve hundred dollars." For a Nissan Rogue? Get the fuck out! You crazy! And so, and then and the other places that went to uh, Toyota and Rouse, eight hundred dollars for a car payment. That's insane. So my best bet right now is I either go used and I get a car with a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand miles, which my car already has already, and I, I go into the part where I have a car situation again with an older car, a used car having used problems. And then I go back into that situation of of uh, the car breaking on me. I put down money. I, the car's gonna make ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. But I can come in situation within a month, two months. You guys know me, I go to theme parks a lot. So I'm always going stuff. And I don't go anywhere far. I don't go out of town. Just theme parks, Disney, Knott's, Universal. So all the driving I'll be doing, I'll be spending, I mean, there's a good chance that used car can break down with all the money I spent on it, I'll be back in the same situation. So my best bet right now is eliminate the car payment, eliminate the car insurance. That's another thing too. Say $1,200 doesn't even include a car insurance. Maybe $120 car insurance for full coverage, what I have. So I'm looking at $1,300. $1,300 for a fucking car. For a Nissan Rogue. $1,300. Get the fuck out. That's insane. That's but we're, we're going to skip that. So my thing is, I save my money, I get some credit cards, I build my credit, and then four months down the road, I get a car. Maybe five months, depending. Um, maybe sales will go down, maybe the recession of dealerships having too many cars. Uh, who knows, but I'm trying to avoid $800 car payment. 
Like right now, my car, my car payment was like four fifty a month. Car insurance it was like five seventy total. If I can get five seventy again, perfect. But I need credit, and so it's gonna take at least four months, five months for me to build my credit, and that's what I need to do. I need to build a credit. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. I do theme parks and I go to work. Right now, it's cheaper for me to take a lift back and forth to work that spend six hundred dollars on a car payment. I'm just saying. I don't go anywhere. It limits car insurance. I don't go out. I don't go luxury restaurants. I eat peanut butter jam sandwiches at home. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grinding. I'm going to be grinding. I'm making content. The lift only cost me thirty bucks. It's weird because it cost me twenty bucks. Or I think it cost me nineteen dollars to take a lift from work to home. And it cost me thirty dollars from lift from home to lift uh, from home to not very far. So I don't go theme parks that often. I go twice a week. Uh, I got stuck. I got tired of being at home for the past two weeks. That's why I'm out today. I need to get out. I need to exercise. I need to keep the body going. I feel like I'm gaining weight. But I'm doing nothing. And I get stuck. I start watching people's content, which I don't mind. I love watching my friends. I love supporting my friends on here on YouTube. But then I get used to it, and I get stuck. I get stuck watching, and then you get stuck in watching other stuff, and then you get stuck like, oh wait. And I, like me, I like to learn. I like to educate my mind. And so I get stuck on learning stuff on how to do this, uh, new camera angles, new camera, new filters, new editing stuff. How you can do things with this and do that. So I, I get distracted and I watch other people's vlogs, which I love watching. I love people's content to keep track of what's going on with theme parks. I, I, I get distracted. And before I know it, my day is gone. And then I go back to work the next day. And so right now I live stream on Twitch, which you guys that don't follow me on Twitch, you should come out and hang out. Um, I haven't been posting too much on TikTok or Instagram. I'm posting one video a day. Usually I post like three or four videos a day. So that's one thing that I'm, I'm trying to go and, and get out and do. And so that's that's my, my goal. Save money. I have the money. Save it. Just keep saving and build credit. And go without a car for three months. It's going to suck because of the convenience of like, hey, I want to get out and go do something. I can't go do it because I don't have a car. But it's all right. You know, sacrifice. Because... When I get a car, it's gonna be awesome. I can drive around and do whatever I want. But I got no credit, so uh, get a couple of credit cards, uh, pay it, whatever. Build my credit. It's gonna take at least four months. By by end of summer, by summer, end of summer, I'll have a car. I'll have enough to put down. But I'm trying to avoid the eight hundred to twelve hundred dollar car payment. So that's bullshit. I'm just saying, a $1,200 car payment is bullshit. I don't care what anyone says. If you're paying that, I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. If you have the money to pay that, if you have no responsibilities, then hey, all for it. Me, I'm trying to get my kids into a place. So, me, I can't afford it. I don't do anything right now. I don't buy any extra clothes. You guys see what I wear. I don't buy anything cool. I don't buy anything fancy. I don't have any fancy camera equipment. I'm just me. So to spend what I need to spend for my car payment, that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to keep it minimum, low, not expensive. So that's why I don't have a car. My brother. So you guys, there you guys go. Hopefully that answers your questions about the car situation, about what I'm doing. But I think that's the direction I'm gonna go. Build credit, get a car, and avoid that $1,200 car payment because that is fucking bullshit. Yeah, I know it's expensive in California, but come on. I ain't sucking no one's dick for that shit.